We're off to Dublin to see my good friend Pete Perry. Uh, he's got a show on at the Olympia Theatre and it should be great. I've uh, got a pocket full of uh, Monopoly money, or Euros as they like to call them locally. And uh, we're going to go get Frisk now, hopefully. And they might even have one of those magic fart detecting machines. Yeah, so Keith, saw your show last night. It was absolutely great. It's called The Asylum. How long have you been working on it? Well, you know, I, every year I change my shows, and you know, from what I read and what, you know, and what I believe, most guys spent two, three, four months putting a new show together. Unfortunately, my schedule doesn't allow that. And you know, The Asylum, from conception to actually performing it, I had about four weeks total to come up with it. So it really was 18, 20 hour days, and you know, I, I basically came up with the concept of The Asylum first and then backtracked all the effects from there. So I just wanted all of the effects to make sense within the theme of an asylum. So I did a huge amount of research on asylums in the 1800s, what happened in those asylums. And it, you know, it was kind of crazy what happened. You know, lobotomies without any anesthesia and things like that. Yeah, the response has been really, really good. Um, you know, I'm doing 20 nights. <coughs> Frog in my throat, excuse me. <coughs> me too. <coughs> <coughs> um, yeah, the response has been fantastic. You know, uh, my promoter MCD, they put me into the Olympia Theatre for 20 nights. Uh, and I don't know any performer was performed there for 20 nights pretty much straight through. So it's, it's quite a challenge, but the reaction has been fantastic. You know, people laughing their heads off, crying with the laughing. And that's what the show is designed to do. You know, scare them a little bit within the theme of an asylum. But really, I want to transform people into a fantasy world. And I want them to forget about their everyday lives. And the show is designed to make people laugh until their faces hurt. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I've done that, you know. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of radio the past few weeks. So what kind of stuff have you been doing on the shows? Yeah, lots of different things. You know, uh, right now, at this moment in time, uh, both last week and this coming week, uh, I've come up with this idea to help promote the shows. Um, I've hooked up with uh, 98FM, which is the number one radio station here in Dublin. And with them, I'm helping people overcome their fears and their phobias through the use of hypnosis. So this past week just gone, I've uh, helped a guy who hasn't washed his face in roughly 20 years. Uh, the only way he washes himself is he, he would put his hands underneath water, shake the excess water off and then rub that on his face. So we had him in, in the studio and after an hour I brought him back out he put his face into a, a basin of water which he hasn't done, you have to understand, in as I said 20 plus years. And it was quite emotional for him. As a matter of fact, it's up on YouTube, so you can check that out. You just type in Keith Barry 98FM, you'll find all the links there. How does this run compare to you on in Vegas? It's completely different. You know, I, as I said, I change my show every year. So this is like my fifth, uh, I think, live tour. So, I, you know, we were looking at some of the, the posters here from previous tours. I've done, um, you know, Close Encounters with Keith Barry. I've got Keith Barry brainwashed. Then the Direct from Vegas tour, <coughs> the Mental tour, and this is now the Asylum tour. So it's completely different than the one in Vegas. The one in Vegas uh, was almost like a, a, a mix match of all the different tours put together. Uh, this tour, as I said, did all the research on asylums, um, put the effects together around that theme. And then also in the second half of the asylum, as you saw last night, it's just hypnosis. And I've never done a, a hip act before. So that, that's my first time doing a full hypnosis act. Talking of the US, uh, you've got a new show starting on the Discovery Channel. Uh, what can you tell us about it? 
Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, they, they've had it. Uh, I've had it shot since uh, December last year and delivered since December last year. And there's been lots of talk about when it's going out, when it's going to air. Even in within Discovery, you know, they originally had it scheduled for I think it was February. Then they moved it to August. Then they brought it back to March. So they've moved it quite a bit. And uh, I'm excited to say it's definitely, definitely, as far as I know, definitely going out next week, July 14th. You've jinxed it. So that's uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. So we'll see. And uh, I'm really proud of it. It's called Deception with Keith Barry. That's great. Uh, well, that's enough about you. What do you think about me? Paul Brook, I think, uh, first of all, he kept me up way too late last night. I've got a show tonight. And we were up at 5 a.m. drinking uh, Captain Morgan Spice Rum, which I don't normally even drink. So that's, first of all, I think you're a prick for keeping me up all fucking night like that. I think your books are pretty good. So fuck that one. This one here, The Alchemical Tools, I need to reread. Can't remember what's in it, so it's probably crap. It is. Yeah, it is. Do not buy the gift. This is the one to buy on Mephisto's shoulder. See? See this guy here? That's actually Paul Brooks' alter ego. He's a bit of a devil. Last night he was here with Jenny in my house, and uh, I walked into the bedroom. Uh, yeah, I did not by mistake. And there she was. There she was. Nipple clamps hanging from the ceiling with Paul in his red fucking top with his like horns coming up. But Mephisto's shoulder. Inside here, Paul has actually planted some suggestions to make you genuinely think that you're gone temporarily insane. Other than that, I think he's a pretty damn nice, cool guy. Thanks, Keith. Any parting words? No. In Dublin, and it's time for this week's Weird Weekly Question. It was submitted by B.B. Marla, and the question is, what was your guilty pleasure last week? Leave all interesting, funny and stupid comments in the comment section down there. So boys, tell me how many views you thought the centenarian video would get. Remember, keep it real. Hey, there's a cool cat in town. Here's my reading theme. Won't get you down. He'll make you dance all day, make you party all night. He will show you how to move through the night. He's Paul, Paul. the coolest cat. A real cool cat, a real cool cat. He's Paul, Paul. the coolest cat.